Hello everyone, welcome back to another Rainbow Links tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to make this super cool panda claw bracelet designed by panda underscore looms on Instagram. If you make this bracelet, be sure to post it on Instagram using the hashtag panda claw bracelet and hashtag MDO family and be sure to tag us both in the photo. All of that will be in the description box. And now without further ado, let's get started on how to make this super cool design. For the colors, I will be using pink quartz for the white in this bracelet. And then for the LE Gold Mint, I'll be using orange, the dual layer orange. And then for these blue bands, which I alternated, I'll be using this purple color from the tie-dye mix band. So we're going to start by taking the white that we want to be in this bracelet. And like I said, I'll be using pink quartz. And we're going to be making an eight loop setup. So take this band and twist it on your hook. Then you're gonna take another one and pull it through both of the loops and then reclaim one half of that loop, one half of that band, which is one loop. And then you're gonna take another color of the same and pull it through the first two and reclaim the outside one and then close. And then take another border colored band, pull it the first two, and reclaim the outside one and close. Like this. And now you can just turn this around on your hook, or if you don't have a double ended hook, you can just flip it. So now you're going to take the first band off of your hook and reclaim that other loop. And then you're going to close and take another border band, pull it the first two, and reclaim the outside one and close. And then one more time first two, reclaim the outside one, and close. So now you should see that we have eight bands on our hook, and we're going to be taking the first color, you're going to be taking this blue color right here, and we're going to take this, and we're going to pull it through the first six bands, just like that, and now we are going to reclaim this first band and this fourth band and the last two as well and then you're just going to close and then you're going to move these two back over to the outside and make sure that these two border bands are like sandwiched in between these two colored bands just like this so now we're going to take another color which is the Ellie Mint you're going to take this band and you're going to pull it through the first four loops. And be careful that these first two loops do not like get out of order because then it'll just be a hassle to put them back where they belong. So now we're going to reclaim this colored band and then we're going to reclaim the outermost one. So the colored band and then the last one and close and then you're just going to move this last one back over to the outside. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take another border band and we're going to pull this through the first four loops and then we're going to reclaim these last two and close and then we're going to take another border band and we're going to pull it through the first three loops and grab this outside band or the last band and close just like this. Alright so now we can flip this and we're going to do the same exact thing on the other side. So now we're going to take another orange band and we're going to pull it through the first four loops and remember to reclaim that colored band and then reclaim the last band just like that and close and then take this border band and put it on the outside and take another border band pull through the first four loops and reclaim the last two close take another border band pull it through the first three and reclaim the outside one so just like this and now I'll show you one more time a little bit faster so we're gonna take another middle colored band because we're at the same, we're at the same starting sequence as we were before so there's eight bands. So we're going to take another middle color, pull through the first six, reclaim the first and the fourth, fifth, and sixth, and put that back on, and then rearrange these other two border bands to the outside. Now we're going to take an orange, 
or your second primary color, I guess, primary color, whatever, second color. <laughs> and we're gonna pull the first four loops and reclaim this colored band and then the outermost one and close. And then move this border band back to the outside. Take a border band, pull through the first four loops, reclaim the outer two, and then take a border band again, pull through the first three loops this time and reclaim the outermost band and close. Just like that. So now we're going to flip this around and do it again. So take an orange band now, I'm just rearranging all my bands back to their positions, pull through the first four loops, reclaim this colored band, and the last band. Alright, so now we're going to take a border band and pull it through the first four loops and reclaim these outside two. And then take another border band, pull it through the first three loops and reclaim the outside one. Just like this. And that is basically your sequence, and you're going to continue this until this bracelet is long enough to fit around your wrist. And I will be back when I am done. Alright, so I'm back and I have finished creating my bracelet and making it long enough to fit around my wrist. And now I'll show you how to finish it off. So once you're back to, like, you're going to start another section, you're just going to take a border band and just pull it through everything. Just like this. And then take your C-clip and clip it. And then you are done. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial on how to make the Panda Claw bracelet designed by Panda underscore Looms. I hope you guys enjoyed be sure to follow them on Instagram, and you can also follow us on Instagram. Um, both of our links will be down below in the description box. And once again, thank you guys so much. We'll see you guys on Friday. Bye! Oops, that was, that was a fail. Okay, bye!